Welcome to Speed Round Sunday on the Parenting Roundabout podcast, where we share a mini episode from our past for your weekend listening pleasure. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode. I was thinking the other day, it was a Sunday morning, and I was having coffee, my husband's having coffee, and one of my fondest memories of growing up is Sunday mornings. I would Um, my family would get together in the living room and we rarely sat in the living room. The living room was like really for only special occasions, you know, the living room versus the family room. Mm -hmm. So Sunday morning we would convene in the, in the living room and we had lots of conversations in that living room, just chatting with one another and, you know, lots of big life decisions were made and (laughs) (laughs) lots of, yeah. So those, that, that family conversation time was super important. And I feel like I didn't really do a good job of establishing that in my Mm. family. I mean, we talk, but um, it's as needed. (laughs) It's not this. (laughs) Let's sit down and have a conversation. It's not planned. It's not a not a tradition. Yeah. Um, So I don't know what's what's better. Like how how do you have a time where you I mean, is it around the dinner table? Is it? You know, how do you have these conversations with your family that, you know, may not, may not be necessarily important life decisions, but still are an opportunity to connect. Checking in with each other and Mm -hmm. such. Yeah. We we sort of do. I mean, we have dinner together pretty much every night and, Mm -hmm. uh, on, we used to on Sunday mornings, my husband would go out and get either donuts or bagels and then we would eat breakfast together on Sunday mornings, but now he's working on Sundays and we haven't really figured out another day to do that. I would like to say, let's do it. He's off on Friday and Saturday now. Let's do it on Friday morning. But Mm -hmm. that hasn't quite happened yet. But still, we do have these times where we all sit down together. Do we converse? I don't know. (laughs) We're not not really conversing people. I mean, my, my husband's a pretty quiet guy. My kid's generally have things to say, but they have their language difficulties. So Mm -hmm. sometimes it's not, it doesn't flow really easily or it's sort of the same thing over and over again. And I feel like we should, and sometimes I will try to instigate, but it's usually not a full dinner sort of discussion. It's fits and starts. Mm -hmm. So, and then my husband and I have started up this habit, which is sort of anti-conversation. I feel bad because it shuts the kids out pretty entirely. But we, at dinner time, <laughs> we go through the birthdays in the newspaper and on IMDb, the celebrity birthdays. And I read out the name and my husband has to guess how old they are. So that's become ah. our dinner table discussion. So it's fun <laughs> for him and me. But yeah. unless it's like somebody that my kids have heard of, it's not so much fun for them. So they just right. kind of eat quickly and book but <laughs> so we found a way to stamp stamp out that nasty conversation <laughs> but if anybody has something to say they still generally do and can yeah and we fill the time from there yeah it's um i guess it's what your family uh is also able to do and has the time for and interest in yeah so. Catherine, do you get a lot of a lot of conversations going in the car driving back and forth from places that's that can be a good place for it sometimes yeah um yeah we sometimes that happens um or but you know also we like to listen to music or the radio or whatever in the car too and sometimes dinner times mm-hmm. will be that kind of thing um I still remember once years ago, we were, for some reason, the whole family was, we were having a business dinner with my husband. And I think my son was like, he was maybe seven or eight. And, um, he just said, well, and this was us and one other family with like one kid and Uh a bunch of business associates. (laughs) And he said, Let's go around the table and everyone say what your dream job would be. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Perfect. It was very funny. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Everyone actually kind of enjoyed that moment. <laughs> so yeah, we'll we'll sometimes have the the dinner table conversation or the or the in the car conversation, but and maybe more so if we go out to dinner. I guess. Mm-hmm. Than if yes. we're at home, that's because a good there's point. More, there's more time, I guess, yeah. to um, 
to do that. And yeah, and people can't just get off the table, up from the table and leave on right. their own. They're kind of stuck there for a exactly period right. of time. That's right. Too we do bad. have big conversations then. And periodically, my my one of my kids will just come up and start talking to me about something. So we have one-on-one conversations, but the mm-hmm. whole family, hmm, sometimes maybe. Less common. <laughs> Less common. <laughs> we just don't have that much to say. We, we just, we text each other. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're becoming. Yeah, my husband does enjoy texting my daughter from a different part of the house and then listening <laughs> for her feet. <laughs> she, it is revolutionized shouting for a kid to come do something. You can now just text them and they come. Oh, I know. It's great. Well, I don't know. I feel like. I feel guilty for not, I don't know why I have it in my head that I have to have this sit down time with my kids and I feel tremendously guilty for not establishing it. But yeah, there are other ways of communicating, which are perfectly acceptable. So <laughs> comment on each other's Facebook posts. Yeah, right. That's the way we do it these days. <laughs> like, like their post. <laughs> it's all going down on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah.